to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible. With liberty and justice for all. Guns. Self-defense. Conceal carry. This is the Patriot Defense Podcast. From the war room in Idaho's high desert, here's your host, Todd Eccles. We are back. It is, what is it? It's Friday. It's Friday afternoon, and here we are tucked away in the war room somewhere in the high desert of southern Idaho. Joining me right now is uh, Mr. Tarver. Hey! And we thought, the, so the plan was, is we were going to throw out an extra podcast this week. That was the plan. You were busy. I was busy. Ooh. It kind of kept getting pushed. And then I found out I got family stuff on Saturday. Okay. So this might be the only podcast we get for the week. Yeah. I was actually working close by and just got some bad news. It's like, you got to come back. I'm like, well, let's do a podcast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so here we are. We had planned um, on doing one on uh, on the topic that everyone's talking about right now. Okay. Which would be Virginia. 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 But people are overlooking Georgia. And we got Georgia. We got, what, Kentucky. Is we, it Kentucky? I keep saying Tennessee. I think we got Kentucky, Georgia, okay. and uh, Pennsylvania. Yeah, well, Pennsylvania. See, here's my problem with this, all right? <clears throat> Consider this. Yes, sir. All right, Pennsylvania. Okay, all right. That's kind of a that's blue state. It's trying to shine a little red, but it, 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 come on. Uh, Georgia's pushing. Virginia's really pushing. Oh yeah, Virginia's going all out. Oh yeah. Uh, why? Why don't they? Why don't they push this gun grab in New York? Why don't they push it in California? People would be upset, but they would expect it more. Right. Are they looking for? Are they trying to trigger a response? I think that you know they very well could. So let's back up just one second here. What okay. we're going to do is we're going to talk about Virginia. Okay. We're going to and we'll we'll pick this up in just a second. But I've got all these audio clips here. Okay. And we're going to play them. Or we're going to talk about them. But let's let's pick this up. So you think your question is is are they trying to trigger a response in Virginia? I think I think they very possibly could be. I think they they could be doing all kinds of stuff. They could try to tr- trigger a response. Have us try to rise up and then you know, call in and, and declare martial law, right? I mean, they, they could do that. I wouldn't be surprised if they had a... <clears throat> they could declare it just anyway? <laughs> uh, put one of their guys, have an undiscover uh, yeah. guy in there. Oh, they... they make a false flag it, make a lot of noise, shoot off a couple guns in the crowd. He disappears like he turned into the Vegas shooter. We never will know the motive. <laughs> He disappeared. Uh, well, I listened to so Jeffrey much. Jeffrey Epstein. I listened to so much. He stuff. killed himself in the cell. I listened to so much stuff on uh, YouTube over this la- over the last week, trying to prepare for this show. That Made who knows? Crazy. Maybe I <laughs> him did kind of. Maybe I actually listened to one of those one of those plants. Yeah. Well, very possibly. I, I wouldn't be surprised to see one of them in the crowd. So I don't. I mean. I don't know. There's all kinds of. I mean, it could be used. Virginia could be being used as a as a testing ground, right? Yeah. A testing ground. Let's see what happens. Let's let's th- let's do this, 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 and this. I think they want a response. I, I wouldn't be surprised. They, they, they want a response. They, I could see that. So I tell you what. Let's do this. Um, I'll start with this first clip, and we're going to kind of start. I won't say it's necessarily an exact timeline, but yeah. it's kind of we started. We'll start at like the beginning, and um, kind of I got this clip explains kind of what they're doing in Virginia and why this is all happening. We're so, a little clip heavy today. I'm a little clip heavy. I got nine of them. Okay. But people said they liked the audio. And, and, you know, this is the best way. They don't want to hear us. They don't want to hear us. Shut up. Shut, Shut up. Get us. out of the way. That's right. Bring it's, us the news. <laughs> <laughs> so let's, let's play, this, let's okay, play let's this. Let me see here. Let's play this first clip. Virginia. <laughs> this last election cycle, they went totally blue. The blue wave hit Virginia with the help of the communists here in the country. Uh, a lot of money was put into that state by Bloomberg and Soros and all of the Democrat kingpins and yes men and money bags. All the the, uh, the pimp daddies uh, put the money into into that state to get it to flip, and it worked. They have uh, Democrat control of the House, the Senate, and the, the uh, we already know that the governor is a clown. He's a Democrat. And come January, once the uh, newly elected elected people take control, uh, they are going to vote on this bill. Senate Bill 16 has already been pre-filed in Virginia. And let me tell you, 
Uh, it is bad. If you live in Virginia and you do not know about this bill yet, I have a link in the description for you. If you want to read it, it's eight pages, several thousand words, but I'm going to tell you uh, what is in this bill. I'm going to read right from the bill itself, uh, starting on line 395. Uh, the section is called 18.2-308. Point eight, importation, sale, possession, etc., of assault firearms prohibited penalty. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to rip through some of this, but you need to pay attention. Virginia, you need to pay attention. Uh, Americans who are still patriotic and care about our individual liberties, they are at risk. Ser seriously at risk. Here we go. Uh, number one, uh, it's going to ban any semi automatic. A center fire rifle that expels a single uh, or multiple projectiles by an action or explosion of combustible combustible material in a fixed magazine capacity in excess of 10 rounds. So, so if you have a semi-automatic rifle, center fire, that has more than 10 rounds, boom, it's an automatic designation of an assault weapon or assault firearm is what they're calling it now, uh, and that's going to be banned and you're going to be naughty. Also, semi-automatic rifle center fire it has the ability to accept a detachable magazine and has one of the following a folding stock telescoping stock a pistol grip a thumb stock hole a second hand grip or a protruding grip that can be held by the non-trigger hand that's that's not just verticals it's angled as well bayonet mount grenade launcher flare launcher a silencer a flash suppressor a muzzle brake a muzzle compensator a threaded barrel barrel capable of accepting a silencer or a flash suppressor or a muzzle brake or a muzzle compensator or any characteristic of like kind as enumerated in clauses one through seven those are the ones i just read to you so if you have a rifle that's not uh, a bolt action or a lever action it's going to be banned of course, it wouldn't be total tyranny and total control uh, by these Marxists if they didn't move to pistols as well. A semi-automatic centerfire pistol that expels a single or multiple projectiles by action of an explosion of a combustible material that has the ability to accept a detachable magazine and has one of the following characteristics. Pistols now. A folding or telescoping stock. A thumb stock hole, a second hand grip, or a protruding grip that can be held by the non-trigger hand. The capacity to accept a magazine that attaches to the pistol outside of the pistol grip. A shroud that is attached to or partially or completely encircles the barrel and that permits that shooter to hold the pistol with a non-trigger hand without being burned. A manufactured weight of 50 ounces or more when the pistol is unloaded. A threaded barrel capable of accepting a silencer, flash suppressor, barrel extender, or forward hand grip, or any characteristic of like kind as enumerated in clauses 1 through 7. So just like the rifles, now pistols, these are obviously the AKAR pistols, all right? Uh, and uh, this, there's no, I mean, this covers everything. The PCCs as well, as long as it has a rail, um, a forend, a vertical grip, an angled grip, a stock, a magazine, uh, banned, okay? And there are no grandfather clauses in this bill. So we already are banning, should this pass, and you know with 100% control of all the power in Virginia starting the first week of January, this is going to pass. The governor is salivating to make this into law. So this is as good as done in Virginia. Now we're gonna move on to shotguns. A shotgun with a revolving cylinder that expels a single or multiple projectiles, blah, 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 blah. blah. Or a semi-automatic shotgun that expels a single or multiple projectiles by action of an explosion, blah, 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 and includes one of the following. A folding or telescoping stock, a thumb hole, a pistol grip, uh, the ability to accept a detachable magazine, the ability to accept a detachable magazine, uh, a fixed magazine capacity in excess of seven rounds, or any characteristic of like as numerated in the clauses that I just read. So we're going to take almost all of the rifles off the market in Virginia if this passes and, and they're going to demand you turn them over. Watch uh, pistols and shotguns. So, you know, shine up your blunderbuss. OK, uh, get your, your pirate pistols ready because that's what they want. They want revolvers, lever action, bolt action. OK, if you're not seeing red already, just wait. Uh, it is unlawful for any person to import, sell, transfer, 
manufacture, purchase, possess, or transport any of those assault firearms. It keeps going. Any person who imports, sells, barters, transfers any firearm magazine that is designed to hold more than 10 rounds of ammunition is guilty of a class one misdemeanor. If you are not in a state that has had this happen to them yet, don't sit there and say, because it can't happen here, because it will happen there. It happened in Virginia. Are you guys and gals paying attention? You have to get off your asses and vote for the right people. If you say, ah, I'm too busy, I don't want to go vote today, these asses get in power, and we have nobody else to blame but ourselves. Red flags being abused and people laughing at the Constitution doing it. And now, the ultimate control by the Marxists in certain states, to include Virginia, in which they're going to try to strip the residents there of all of their Second Amendment rights. Unless, you know, you have a blunderbuss, something like that. What are your thoughts? What are your opinions? What are your comments? What are your concerns? Write down. So what that is, is that was, all these are YouTube clips, and I should have stated this at the beginning. I'll get better at this. I have eight okay. more eight more tries. That was uh, uh, guns. Uh, guns and Gadgets. That's a Guns and Gadgets uh, YouTube channel. So I kind of like that. I know it was a longer clip, but it really laid out exactly. You're going for everything. They're going for absolutely everything. Everything. One of these, one of those items, if your weapon has one of those items, it's everything. Ten rounds or more, but also uh, was talking about a threaded barrel. Right. I'm like, jeez, dude. Well, and that does, he, I don't even think, and he may have at the beginning, I don't remember. I don't even know if that actually covered getting together and, like, teaching someone how to shoot. Getting together. No, this is just one of the bills. This is the that's just actual gun ban bill. The actual bill. gun ban bill. But there's so much more that's going on up yeah. there. I mean, com- I mean, coming to a state near you. I mean, th- absolutely insane. I mean, they don't want you to have anything. 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 Nothing. They are trying to. To get somebody to start something. And the, the funny part is, I mean, the interesting part is, is, you know, that whole, and we'll get into more and more clips talking about all the counties that have declared uh, Second Amendment sanctuaries and that, what the sheriffs are thinking and all that. That entire state is controlled by like three or four counties. There's 90 yeah. something, I think there's like 90 something counties so far, and we'll get into it, that have declared themselves sanctuary counties. So there's like four or five counties that are. I mean, that are for this. this yeah, yeah, I think it's 90 out of 95. This is the it's same crazy. thing, not the exact same, but the same thing that happened up in Washington State. You had like one or two counties that pretty much controlled everything. But he 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 hit the nail on the head there. Pay attention to what's going on. Get out and vote, people. Get out and vote. Yeah, well, this is state elect. Well, <clears throat> I got a couple of, couple of items on that. Yes, you need to get out and vote. You need to get your people, uh, you know, I'll tell you what, there's a difference between Southern Democrats and uh, California Democrats. Uh, that's like John Bell, governor of Louisiana. Everybody's like, oh, they voted in a Democrat. He's a lot more conservative than a lot of Republican governors we had. Problem is, once you get, uh, it, it's really getting to a point where it don't matter. you got to vote the most conservative, the Republican. Or what, the one that will stay most behind their... Uh, party's platform, right. and then try and get rid of them as much as you can. I mean, we just had something happen here in Twin uh, with the whole immigrant crisis. They, the immigrants uh, coming in, they uh, <clears throat> most people probably hadn't heard it, but all Republicans all run on conservative tickets and everything. They just Monday, uh, the president put out a. Uh, executive order that if anybody wants these, um, what do you call them? Uh, I just said the word refugees, refugees. You have to request them on a County level, uh, because you have to make a statement. Yeah. You have to issue file something. So Monday during the Christmas holidays, uh, city of twin falls, unanimously, unanimously voted to, uh, have more come in sent the letter to the president. They just voted in a bunch more votes is what they did. Yeah. We just got, well, <laughs> we just got backstabbed though. Yeah. But yeah, you got to get out and vote. A lot of these, <clears throat> you got those several counties and I don't know how they separate up the, the, uh, representation based upon, uh, population. So that those counties are going to have a lot more representation, but 
I think a lot of people in these other counties, these more conservative counties, aren't voting, uh, aren't feeling like it's having any effect. And even if your party doesn't really believe in you, like the Republicans, <laughs> if they don't really back you, they'll put up a stand anyway just to try to gain more power. They will pretend like it uh, sometimes, so at least you can have some kind of stopgap. Right now, you got nothing. Virginia's about to get roll oh yeah yeah they are so they're gonna do whatever they want and i mean do you believe i mean i'm just it's i know it was stated in that in that youtube clip i know what i believe do you believe this so these are bills that they haven't been passed yet these have do you believe that they will actually get passed what do you think do you think that i I mean i'm just i'm just throwing this out why would you that this is what today is about yeah i i i don't know uh so far we've seen very little back up from them right uh in fact they keep coming out with and we'll get into this too later they keep coming out with bills to uh, bills and 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 announcements and statements to counter everything that the people are it's it's like someone does something wait for a response they do something i mean the battle's already started people yeah yeah it's it's i I think they want a response and if they can't get one they're gonna make a response and blame it on the Oh, very well. They very the well citizens, could be. Yeah. Who fired the first shot, right? They're, they're, I think that's the agenda because this is insane. This is not, you know, we need to, this is the common sense gun control that the Democrats are always talking about. They oh, want yeah. everything. And they're going so hard for everything. And like you said, everything that the people or the county say, well, we're going to do this, they're counteracting it. They're going for everything all at once right now. They want a response. And if they don't get one, they're going to fake one. So uh, some of the counties, and we, you know, we've you've read about it, I'm sure, and we've talked about it here. But some of these counties are declaring themselves sanctuary, uh, Second Amendment sanctuaries, and right. I got a got a clip right here that'll kind of talk about that. And that's- no more gun control. No more gun control. The message was clear at City Hall in Virginia Beach. A large group wants the city to be declared a Second Amendment sanctuary. I believe deeply in my constitutional rights and my Second Amendment rights to protect my family and my property, and I don't think they should be infringed. But right now, the laws have only been proposed. Nothing's been passed. We asked a political science professor at ODU, Dr. Ben Molusky, why the groups are so vocal already. They're trying to get out ahead of it, and I think um, this is one of those issues where it galvanizes the public. The group say they're worried about bills proposed by the newly elected Democratic majorities in the Virginia General Assembly. They want their local governments to say they won't enforce stricter gun laws, but analysts say the resolution is non-binding. This is really all the localities can do is just basically offer some sort of resistance. One of the bills Second Amendment advocates are worried about is Senate Bill 16, which would expand the definition of an assault weapon and make their possession and sale illegal. Whether, you know, the, this, the actual complete ban on assault weapons, SD, uh, 16, actually makes it through, uh, I think we'll have to wait and see kind of what the, the narrative surrounding it is. And a local state delegate has asked the Attorney General, Mark Herring, to weigh in on sanctuaries. A spokesperson for Herring says his opinion is still pending, but says the resolutions appear to be just symbolic. But Molusky says guns will be a major topic in Richmond this upcoming year. Given that this was uh, essentially the number one issue on people's minds going into the election, um, you can almost argue that he has a mandate to address this. And people on the other side clearly feel like they have their own mandate. In Norfolk, Brendan Ponton, News 3. So there you go. That was actually a clip, and I, I you know, I'll get this right sooner or later. That was a, <laughs> that was a YouTube clip uh, came from WTKR News Channel Three. Okay. So there you go. It talked about the sanctuary counties. What do you, what is your take on the sanctuary count on the Second Amendment sanctuary counties? I think we're we're it's insane. I mean, we're we're really playing their game, uh, like the, and I understand it, but we're letting them set the rules and we're acting like they're real rules uh, with the whole what is it. Uh, uh, alien, illegal alien sanctuary cities, uh, that kind of stuff. There is right. no such thing. I mean, it's federal law. Uh, this is the Constitution. Uh, this is the foundation of our country. We don't have to have a sanctuary. This country should be a Second yeah. Amendment sanctuary. My aggravation is where is Bill Barr? Where is Donald Trump's Department of Justice? You should be, they should come in front of the mic and say, this is ridiculous. We have a Constitution in the United States. We will get immediate hearing in front of the Supreme Court, and we will haul these politicians to jail. 
Well, let uh, me let me ruffle some more feathers. Where the hell is the NRA? Have you heard the NRA talk about this at all? I haven't actually. I, I you just this just crossed your mind, huh? Well, it's been so busy with the holidays that you it get has, mixed up with everything. It has, and, but this started. But I hadn't heard anything. This started about a while back. So where's the freaking NRA? I don't I know. I put a, a little my... meme up on a meme up on the um, up on Facebook about you know where they're doing this, they're doing this. Where's the NRA? And some lady lost it. Just got, I, I, you know, I can't believe you posted. That's disrespectful to the NRA. Where is the NRA? So where, They're supposed did to she be. Have an answer? No. Okay. <laughs> Eventually, she kind of came over to my side, but I'm just like, where's the NRA on this? Where is everyone that's supposed to be defending our rights? Where are they? Good question. In fact, have you heard? I mean, I, I don't mean to get off the. Have you heard anything from the NRA after their big? Everything that was going on, I've heard nothing. Even some of the big guys that were speaking out against the NRA, just silent. They have not said a word about this. Where's the NRA? I haven't. I haven't. Oh, That's like something I said, to think though, about. I, 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 I will have to look for a statement, but I haven't heard too much. I mean, it's, it's the holidays, too, though. So it, they, they like hiding stuff in there. Right. And to be honest with you, I've been busy, so, but I haven't heard anything. There's nothing. There's not. I've looked. I, 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 okay. I honestly looked, and I couldn't find anything. If, if anyone has heard anything that the NRA has said about this, send it to me, you know, whatever, post it on Facebook, email me, whatever. I'll Hopefully give... it's something more than just a statement that they sent out to their donors. Right. Hopefully it's because that's the very least you can, that's just fundraising. Right. Uh, hopefully they talking about, have you heard of any major news network? I hadn't heard. No, have YouTube, you heard YouTube, Fox YouTube covering it. Fox, I hadn't heard anybody covering it. Any th- any, anything that I... Any, Even while I'm busy, I listen to Fox on... Yeah. Sometimes. Anything I that I found on it? On the radio. You can look here. It's all on YouTube. These are all... This is all YouTube stuff I found. People reading this... The, the, the article. People reading the... Whatever. The bill. I mean, this is all YouTube stuff. So, it's, I don't know. I, this is... This is a this is the this is our new future is what this is. It is. It's kind of scary, but as far as the sanctuary counties, I I don't know. I I mean, I like to see him come out and say, "Hey, we're we're a Second Amendment sanctuary county," but then I just kind of laugh because it's like you're just making all you're doing is making a statement. Because, I mean, re, someone's got to enforce that, right? Who's going to enforce that? Is it going to be the sheriff? Is it going to be the I don't know. I mean, some sheriffs are some sheriffs are standing up and they are saying that they're going to they're going to support this. They don't they don't like this new they don't like this new bill. They don't like these new laws. And if they go into effect, they're they're going to, you know, they're going to deputize people. I like that. I like that. I tell you what. Here's here's where the rubber meets the road, though. <clears throat> You're not going to enforce it. You're not going to back it. You're not going to push it. Uh, well, these guys are counteracting everything. They're going for this so what happens when people show up that will enforce it whether federal troops state police yeah uh atf fbi any kind of crooked federal organization they can find uh dig some slime out from under a rock and put a federal badge on them uh yeah what are you going to do then what are you going to do at that point are you going to say well we stood up as long as we could i mean this is really getting what are you going to do what you going to do, man? What I mean, you going to do? People, yeah, people keep saying, and I love this answer, well, they can't remove the sheriffs. The sheriffs are put in by the people. They, they, can, they, can, they took out Scott Israel. They can, though, people. They can do whatever they want. They're, 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 they're trying to put these new gun laws, these gun bills, these anti-gun bills into play. They can do whatever they want. Clear it's, violation of the Constitution. The fact that we're to what this. What are you going to do to stop them? Yeah, the, the fact that we got to this point. Mm-hmm. Do you think that just because there's a sheriff that says, no, I'm not going to do that, you think that's going to stand in their way at this point? No. No. And, and I'm not talking about the sheriff. I'm not saying that the sheriff's going to back down. I'm saying they will remove him. In fact, we'll talk a little later. There is a bill that they put into place um, because of this that talks about if you work on the state level, that if you disobey, if you don't do this and don't do this, they will remove you and I mean, it's they're trying to get that to pass. Well, they, they don't care. I mean, if the Supreme Court told them that they had to do it, they'd holler Tenth Amendment all of a sudden, which Tenth, yeah. tenth Amendment hadn't exist since, existed since the Civil War. <clears throat> uh, they don't care. 
It's yeah. all about force. Who's going to force them to do something? Right. Now, Bill Barr is the attorney general. He's got a whole lot of people he can send to do his bidding. But if you remember his confirmation hearing where Senator Dianne Feinstein was asking him questions about red flag laws, he says they are direly needed. We need the, those in this country. Yeah. He's all for this. He's a gun grabber. So, Mister. So, uh, so this is you know goes out to all you uh, Trump supporters, like you said earlier. Where's Trump on this? Uh, where's Trump? Where's Trump? How come he hasn't said anything? How come he hasn't done anything? If he's if he's for our Second Amendment rights, if he's for guns, where the hell is he? He's for guns, like the revolver that he carries. Right. He's he, he's he's that's just like. I, be, I believe he's going to be reelected. I believe we don't have a choice. You've got to vote for the man. Because uh, if you don't, you're going to get a Bernie or some insane nutbag coming in like that. But I expect, and he's kind of following Reagan's template. I expect some amnesty to happen, which Reagan did. Mm-hmm. I expect some gun control to happen, which Reagan did. Uh, I, I fully expect it. But what choice do we have? I mean, if he wanted to right now is the time to speak. This is major. Oh, it's huge. Campaign issue. Huge. 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 <laughs> <laughs> this is the time to make it known. This is the time to come out on it. I don't hear no campaign, and all I hear is uh, impeachment, impeachment, impeachment. Why? Because they're making a ton of they're making a ton of money off that. Here's the problem we got. We can't even criticize our guy, which. For freak's sakes, we're the right. We're supposed to hold everybody's feet to the fire and drive them further right. I don't care who they are. But because they've had this just insane attack on the man to impeach him and everything else, that everybody on the right is just defending him no matter what. I can't tell you how many people I've seen say, I'm voting for him no matter what, I'll support him no matter what. I'm like... You've lost all power in negotiation. I don't care if you're going to do it or not. Don't say you're going to do it. Right, right. Negotiate, man. What happened to the art of the deal? You bunch of surrender monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> you're just, you're giving up all power. You're not, I mean, we're nobody's holding his feet to the fire. And he, we should make him come out on that. And he's not because. And he knows it too. He don't have to. He don't have to. As long as he yeah. keeps this impeachment front and center. Uh, it puts our side, we have to defend our guy. Yeah. And we let him get away with more than we would if there was no attack on him. And I like, I love most of what the man says. Um, problem is he folds pretty quick on a lot of stuff, which is such an embarrassment that we won't push him more. And we won't. It's the right that's fallen. We're not, we're not pushing the man. Exactly. He should be coming out and say, it. He, oh, man, he's right now he's campaigning on uh, California's homelessness, which I guess he thinks he's got a. Um, I just talked to some people from California and they're like, we might see some change. Uh, I doubt it. They always say that. Uh, but I think he's looking at some polls and he thinks he's got some uh, a decent shot at California. So he's coming against California homelessness and talking about federal government taking care of it. He feels so safe with Second Amendment people. He hadn't even spoken about it. They're taking our guns, but you know you can't buy cigarettes now if you're if you're if you're under twenty one. Gotta wait till you're twenty one. World is saved. <laughs> the world is saved. <laughs> okay, well here's uh this is a clip uh, about Virginia Sheriff Scott Jenkins um, talking about what he's uh, what Jenkins. what he is planning on doing, and this is from the YouTube channel called uh, I like this Stop the Madness. Okay, so let's play this. A Northern Virginia sheriff deputy says that he has a plan to respond to the Democratic-led legislature in Virginia if it enacts gun control measures. During a Board of Supervisors meeting earlier this month, the board unanimously declared the county a Second Amendment constitutional county. And the sheriff voted, vowed rather, I should say, to deputize Culpeper County residents. It will be my intent if the legislature decides to restrict certain weapons that I feel are a harm to our community. I will look to swear in thousands of auxiliary deputies in Culpeper, of people who are willing to pass a background check. Um, proper screening must be done, but um, our auxiliaries are required to work at least eight hours a month in service to our department. That may be service all around the county for other things, but um, there is no limit on the number of people I can swear in as a deputy sheriff. 
A number of counties in the state have passed similar resolutions in response to expected gun control legislation, which Governor Northam says Democrats will push for since it regained control of the Virginia General Assembly. So what does this all mean? What is the breakdown for folks in Culpeper County? And uh, will this reverberate in other parts of the state and Commonwealth? Sheriff Scott Jenkins joins us live this morning. And we do want to note, we reached out to counties who have already passed similar resolutions to deputize residents, but no county supervisor accepted our invitation. Sheriff, you did. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Uh, first question I, I want to ask you is, you know, the Second, Second Amendment constitutional county, uh, what in your eyes does that entail? That's a gesture by our county board of supervisors to let everyone know that they feel strongly about the proposed legislation that's going to Richmond uh, after the first of the year, as over 70 other counties in the state so far have done the same. So break it down for us in real terms. What are you planning on doing, and, and is it based on action from the, the state legislature first, or do you want to be proactive in this measure? Uh, I'm going to wait. Hopefully the measures that they're, they're hoping to approve won't uh, actually pass and uh, won't be necessary. But if they do enact those laws that they're proposing, uh, restricting everything from a so-called assault weapons to uh, high-capacity magazines and other things, let alone the red flag laws, um, the, my stance will be to, uh, if need be, if it's passed, swear in hundreds or even thousands of citizens as auxiliary deputies. We have thousands of concealed carry permit holders in the county currently who I have no issue whatsoever and encourage people to have concealed carry permits. But uh, what their intent, what they hope to achieve by this legislation, it's, it's not going to happen. Um, the Clinton era gun ban was a proof of that for 10 years. The statistics don't bear anything to prove that it, it's going to be effective. So why they're going to try this bill, which is basically that ban on steroids, it, it's ridiculous. You know, those who don't agree with you, Sheriff, uh, would say, based on your, your comment right there, uh, these certain weapons, the high capacity magazines, uh, those type of, of weapons, uh, some might question why those are necessary, especially from hearing that from someone from a law enforcement background. Well, the fact is the law-abiding citizens that possess them for everything from sport shooting, hunting, and other uses are just home defense. It's, uh, those aren't the people that we're, we're having the problems with. Criminals are going to obtain those weapons regardless of what laws are passed, and it's ridiculous to think that it's going to have any effect on the actual crime. Uh, they like to spout uh, figures, statistics on shooting deaths and, and uh, crime with uh, various types of weapons, but when you really drill down and look at the statistics for what they are, um, they just don't bear what they, they say they will. There are others who might say that, that your job, Sheriff, is to enforce the law, not make the law or make changes to the laws, or uh, as some might even say, circumvent the law. Uh, by making changes and not listening to what's happening down in Richmond. So how do you respond to that? I'll be clear about that. I'm not circumventing the law. As a matter of fact, unlike sheriffs all over the Commonwealth or the United States that have said they won't uh, enforce laws that are passed, I have been the first so far, I think the only one who has said, I will not say that I won't enforce laws that are duly passed. I said when I originally announced, elections have consequences, and this is what we're getting the result of that election. But... Yep. I do have a legal right to swear in deputies, and that's been the same for hundreds of years here in the Commonwealth for any share. And others might say uh, that might be okay for a handful of people, but if you deputize hundreds or thousands, that sounds like a militia in the making. Uh, they'll be properly screened and vetted, and they're the same citizens that I currently serve and put me in office, and they're the ones that I deserve everything that I can in my power to protect them and, and protect their constitutional rights. It's, it's my duty. Sheriff, we do appreciate you joining us this morning. Uh, one off-topic question for you since you came in from Culpeper this morning. Okay, that's it. That's just a poor editing job on my part. But okay. There you go. He wants to um, deputize thousands and thousands of his uh, uh, county's residents, citizens, right? Okay. If, if these laws go through, he's not sure, but he keeps saying he's not sure that they're going to go through. He doesn't know if they're going to go through, so he's holding off. Right. Instead of being proactive, he's, he's made a statement. He's going to hold off, and if they go through, he's just going to go bang, bang, bang. And he's talking about deputizing a lot of the people that have their concealed carry permits. Yeah, sounds like he's uh, not uh, people talking about his militia this, militia that. Sounds like <clears throat> he's saying elections have consequences, and I got a little distracted with a side conversation there, so maybe I caught it wrong. But it sounds like he's ready to deputize people just to because – with all these laws, they'll have an exemption for law enforcement, and it's just to protect their individual rights, which God bless you if that's what you're doing. I mean, do something. Do something. But 
I think uh, I think he I think he said something like that, but he also that you know if he's got to have a militia, he just deputize a bunch of people. You know, he he's going to have his own his own little army there if he needs. That's kind of what he was referring to. I mean, you what you said is right too, but I think it's kind of what he I got the feeling he that's what he was referring to. I got a thousand I got thousands of people in this county with the concealed carry permits, and all they got to do is provide like eight hours of service every so many months. And they I can, can do eight hours. They can remain deputized. Yeah, I'll clean up the b- brass at the range. <laughs> <laughs> but so you have sheriffs like this that are they're trying to, you know. Just go get the coffee a couple more. Yeah. And I will, <laughs> yeah. I will I will God, give this. Time this, to make the donuts. I will give this sheriff, um, you know, kudos to him because he said that, they actually said in the interview that there's other sheriffs um, in the state that for other counties that have said the same thing, but they were all afraid to come and actually come and do an interview on it. So you didn't hear about them. If they're afraid to talk about it, they're probably not going to do it. Yeah. First threat that comes their way, they're going to fold. I mean, this is, and, and I can understand the position he's in too. He's not wanting to, uh, you, you know, it's, it's best to be calm and, gentle and slow moving even if your goal is to raise a freaking army <laughs> right right what you what you don't want to say is i'm gonna raise an army and we're gonna we're gonna put a stop dog you can't say that you gotta well we're gonna wait and see if it happens if it does happen then we will try and protect people's second amendment rights god bless him that's a good sheriff now people in virginia for god's sakes go stand behind this man right and they this are. should be your governor yeah. yeah, this should be your governor. You should draft. You should, he should win on a write-in campaign. This should be your governor. I don't know what you're waiting on. I mean, there's 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 literally two subjects that we need to deal with. Uh, forget about it. Forget about it, man. What are we? Twenty three trillion in the hole right now. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about spending. It's over. <laughs> All right. <laughs> forget about it. Second Amendment and immigration, because demographics is destiny. Those two issues. Get Sheriff Jenkins and make him your governor. Quick. Anyway. Well, let's see what I'm, let's, you know, let's, I'm anxious to see what happens to those sheriffs that are going to stand up. Are they going to be there? Are they going to fight? Are they going to be removed somehow? I mean, what's, what's going to happen? We don't, we don't, we don't know. No, we don't know. We don't know, but. And you might have some of these stealth people that ain't said nothing that might, you never know. You never know. That's like you get a lot of these guys. That's like the ones that we're talking about. Uh, we need to get to. Addresses of police officers. I'm like, you're not going to stop. Yeah. Just stop. Now, when you get these quiet people that go in there and start taking, talking about, all right, start taking down cell towers and electricity grid and repeater towers. They're working in their basements. Those, 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 you know, and they're not saying much. Those are the dangerous ones. (laughs) I mean, they already, they already arrested a guy because he was threatening on shooting and burning the governor. That's real smart. Just just talk about it. Just talk about it. Whole, <laughs> hey, I'm gonna, I ain't even going to repeat it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Good luck doing that from a sale. Uh, yeah, exactly. So we got we got another clip here, and it talks about how um, the attorney general for a while came out and of, of uh, Virginia came out and was they were talking about these Second Amendment sanctuaries, and they, they wouldn't issue a statement on it. They wouldn't issue their thoughts on them, and they finally came out. And I've got this clip off YouTube, and I just noticed I do not have a reference to it <laughs> as far as a channel okay. um, that it came off of. That's my fault. But I will go ahead, and we will take a listen to that. Attorney General Mark Herring has just issued an advisory opinion saying the Second Amendment sanctuary resolutions passed by numerous counties and cities across the Commonwealth may have no legal effect. Second Amendment sanctuaries declare themselves exempt from new gun safety laws the General Assembly may pass. Herring says localities and local constitutional officers cannot nullify state laws and must follow gun violence prevention measures passed by the General Assembly. So far, 90 counties and cities across the Commonwealth have passed sanctuary resolutions. More on this to come throughout the day here on 10 News. So you, they're saying that they have to follow state laws. They have gotta to follow state they law. They got to follow state laws. Well, these people are are they're they're breaking the constitution. Breaking the constitution. My, I was so, right where I was going. So where where what what trumps? Pardon the pun. What what trumps what? The constitution trumps the state laws in my eyes. Well, you got to listen to the Democrats. That's that's the real rule of law. 
if you cross a Democrat, you'll go to jail, be bankrupt, or uh, be, you'll be like Roger Stone. You'll go to jail. You're in trouble. You, you're in deep shit. Yeah. But if you break the Constitution, oh, well, that's fine. That's it's fine. just an old, dusty piece yeah, of paper. Well, yeah, don't worry about that. they even breaking out Jesus right now, man. These satanic bastards <laughs> are, are bringing Jesus into their argument for everything they got. Wouldn't know, wouldn't know Jesus if he walked up to him. So, <laughs> yeah, whatever works for them is what works. So your attorney general is a trash bag. He's a trash bag. He's well, he's a, one of them. It's, it's all yeah. democratically controlled, man. He's a dumpster fire. He's got, he's got his vacation already planned with his Bloomberg money. He don't give a damn about you and your constitution. Exactly. So, so the, we got we got another clip here. Um, it's uh, Governor Governor Northrum. It's wow, we his, do have some clips. We do. It's his. It's his uh, shot or his thoughts on Second Amendment sanctuaries. And we got this. I got this off of YouTube. It was uh, YouTube channel uh, Thirteen News Now. So here we go. Leaders in Chesapeake and James City County took votes on the Second Amendment sanctuary debates. They passed resolutions that were a bit different. In Chesapeake, they unanimously decided to become a Second Amendment constitutional city. That just means the city is dedicated rather to protecting people's constitutional rights. It was the same in James City County. The Board of Supervisors voted on a resolution to show the county's commitment to the state and U.S. constitutions. Governor Ralph Northam says Second Amendment sanctuary resolutions won't stop him from pursuing what he calls common sense gun legislation. He says there's nothing unconstitutional about the gun reform he introduced. 13 News Now reporter Dana Smith spoke to him about it today and joins us with his response to the sanctuaries. Yeah, Adriana, these sanctuary cities are popping up all across the state. Northam stressed today he supports the Second Amendment and he's not taking guns away from anyone. The intent is to keep guns out of the wrong hands. They can continue to have their meetings. They can continue to make sanctuary uh, counties, uh, but we're going to do what Virginians have asked us to do. Second Amendment sanctuaries have become a top issue across the state after Governor Ralph Northam introduced a set of eight gun control bills in July, about a month after the mass shooting at the Virginia Beach Municipal Center. At the time, he called on the GOP-controlled legislature to take votes and have a dialogue, but the General Assembly adjourned the session after 90 minutes without considering the bills. These individuals that are out here now uh, at these meetings, they had a chance to come to Richmond. So, you know, where were you in July? Chesapeake City and Gloucester County passed Second Amendment sanctuary resolutions unanimously. In Virginia Beach and Suffolk, crowds packed city council meetings to voice their support, even though the topic wasn't on the agenda. It's not going to be retaliation. That's, that's not what I'm about. The governor stressed there's nothing unconstitutional about any laws passed in the state house or Senate. Northam said although his government has no plans to retaliate against municipalities passing sanctuary resolutions, there could be consequences if if law enforcement doesn't enforce the law. If we have constitutional laws on the books and law enforcement officers are not enforcing those laws, there are going to be some consequences, but I'll cross that bridge if and when we get to it. Northam said he'll reintroduce the legislation in January. He called it, quote, common sense gun legislation that will save lives. Common sense. Common sense. Common sense. Just common, common sense. And this is common sense. These are these are laws. These they're going to they're going to give these laws to the Virginia people because that's what the Virginia citizens. That's what they wanted. That's, that's what, what they, they asked for. That's what the Virginia citizens in like four counties wanted. Yeah. But that right there, and I'm not I'm not pointing fingers at, but that right there it shows the importance of getting out and going to vote, yeah. people. Vote just because those are some you know higher populous counties. There's 90-something other counties, right, yeah. that don't agree. Get out and vote. Everyone get out. That's it, Voting is so freaking important. Everyone's ready to strap on their freaking kit, strap on their chest plate, grab their rifle, grab some ammo, and head to Virginia. But, you know, they sat at home when they could have voted. Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying that this would totally would have stopped it, but you would have had a shot. That's where you need to start the battle. Is that the voting ballot box? Right. Well, uh, if this was introduced in what was it June? Yeah. And didn't go anywhere. Um, you know, you, you lost it in the last election because now it's full steam ahead. Yeah. Now you can go out and vote again. It's now like, I like, guarantee you people are gonna be awake enough to vote. They but saw, you got two years. They saw what was coming. Saw it coming. Man told you he was gonna do it. 
Told you. And you just stayed at home and watched Simpsons that night. I tell you what, we had the same thing in Idaho, man. We had absolutely nothing happening. We had a couple of, we had a, I don't don't know. They sounded a lot better than what we had running for attorney general and governor. And those guys didn't go anywhere. Didn't go nowhere. Yeah. Didn't go nowhere. Because they didn't have name recognition. And uh, people just don't pay attention. Get out and vote, people. I mean, we can sit back and we can complain all we want right now, but this this is what's going to happen. Every the rest of the country needs to sit back and take a look at this. Yeah, well, they need to sit back and watch this. Not only that, stop the cheerleading. Stop the cheerleading. Just you got these trash bags, absolute trash bags, up here telling you who to vote for, and this is a good guy. And I, I'm, we've all done it. We've all done it. It's like when you're not. Um, don't have time to be in depth on the issues or whatever, or see what a person is saying. Then you take your trusty guy, whoever it is Mm -hmm. Uh, right now. One of the favorites is Charlie Kirk of turning point USA. What an absolute trash bag, (laughs) trash bag. That's why they let him on Fox news all the time. He's, he's, he's telling a lot of young people, uh, this is who you need to vote for. And they're like, okay, well, Charlie Kirk says I need to vote for him. So I need to vote for him. Charlie Kirk is a complete sellout that wants a, um, uh, citizenship tied to the back of every bachelor degree given in the world, uh, from his own mouth. Trash bag. Got to get them voters. Uh, it's, it's a complete, <laughs> he's been bought a uh, chamber of commerce. The Republicans want the cheap labor uh, Democrats want the votes. Nobody cares cares as long as these mouthpieces can put money in our in their pockets and it's hard to be a mouthpiece i mean once you get a following you're gonna get them you're gonna get an offer <laughs> we can either oh, yeah. come at you and take you out or we can put a few million dollars in your little foundation here and we can put you up on fox news and you just keep leading the people the way we want them to and pay attention and everybody Espe- sells out especially the you know in Idaho here, we start our, legisla- our legiv- uh, legislative session starts on January 6th. Okay. It's coming, and you know what? I've heard nothing. I I've heard, heard I've heard, I haven't heard much of anything. There's one, I heard a uh, rumor of the uh, uh, gun bill, a good, I mean, they want to kind of expand our constitutional carry just a little bit more, and so that's. That's nice. That's nice. They did that in Virginia, nice. what, a couple of years ago? Yeah. Oh, that was Georgia. That's Georgia. 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 They did that in Georgia last year, and now there's a bill to wipe it out. Yep. So pay attention though, because if I haven't heard a lot, a lot of stuff that they're working on coming our way, at least you know four guns. I'd only imagine that they're sneaking in some kind of anti-gun stuff somewhere. We pay attention. I mean, it it could show up. You just don't know. We could be the next Virginia. We could be. We could be very quickly, very easily, very quickly, very easily. Look at the states that are. I mean, look at Georgia, look at um, uh, Georgia, Pennsylvania, Kentucky. They all of a sudden, bam, 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 in one week, all these bills started popping up over there. I'll tell you what, uh, the drinking age, the uh, DWI age, now the cigarette age. Yeah. The federal government gets whatever they want. And if they pass some gun restriction, they're going to get what they want. Why? Because they'll hold a few dollars from your your state, and your state will fold like, like, you know, cheap whores. (laughs) <laughs> whatever you want, boss, <laughs> whatever you want, I'll do whatever. They're going to fold and they're going to get the money and they say, well, we didn't have no choice. I'm telling you, it could happen easy. It could happen quick. Well, we got the people of Virginia. Um, you know, we, everyone talks about the boogaloo, right? The boogaloo. The boogaloo. <laughs> the, bo- the boogaloo. They're, and they are talking about now um, deploying National Guard deploying the National Guard against the citizens when it comes time when they've enacted these laws. If these people do not turn their guns in, if they do not register their guns, they are going to come and take them. They're going to go door to door, and they are going to they are going to take these. Um, and uh, there's this gentleman on YouTube. Um, his name is uh, Reed Heinrich. Of, of His uh, YouTube page is Valor Ridge, and he talks about that for a minute. And he's actually pretty impassioned little speech, and I, I kind of like it. So okay. we're going to take a listen to it. Hey everyone, Reed Hendricks with Valor Ridge. I just recently read an article from BearingArms.com. The synopsis of the entire article is that you have a state representative in Virginia who has threatened to deploy the National Guard against communities that have adopted Second Amendment sanctuary resolutions. That includes county and municipalities. 
This is a threat from an elected official against the citizens of that state using military force and might and equipment that you pay for with your own taxes to disarm you of your Second Amendment right recognized in the Constitution and guaranteed by God and given by God. Now we've got a major problem here because now you have threats and they're not veiled, they're direct threats. I believe that when representatives do this, they cross the line. This isn't just against the citizens of Virginia. This is against the citizens of the United States of America. And if you think people in Bell County, Kentucky, or Claiborne County, Tennessee, or Lee County, Virginia are gonna tolerate that kind of stuff from happening, you are sorely mistaken. This is no different than General Gage deploying his troops at Lexington and Concord. We're going to disarm you and we're gonna use the military to do it. Tell me what the difference is. One is a decree, it's a decree by parliament, it's a decree by the Virginia legislature. And if this legislation was so popular, if this legislation was so uh, needed, then why have over 80 counties and municipalities adopted Second Amendment resolutions? Go look at the map. I'll even put a link to Gun Rights Watch and you can see all the counties there that have adopted such resolutions. There's only 90 something counties in Virginia and over 80 of them already have adopted Second Amendment sanctuary resolutions, so popularity is not on their side. So in short, what you've got are representatives advocating for up-armored Humvees, APCs, fully automatic weapons rolling right there on Wilderness Road. That's not going to be tolerated. It's not going to be tolerated by law enforcement in this community. It's not going to be tolerated by the citizens in this community. And I want to know if that state representative or the governor of Virginia himself will be at the head of that column. Will they be the one leading that assault? We are living in times where you may not have thought it would ever happen in your lifetime, yet here we are looking tyranny right in the face. We're looking at it just like our ancestors did. And having ancestors that fought right there in Virginia in the Revolutionary War, and not only the militia, but the Continental Army, I can tell you straightforward that uh, my ancestors were willing to fight for that soil once, and uh, I'm more than willing, more than willing, uh, to assist the citizens of Virginia when the time should come. This is Reed Hendricks of Valor Ridge reminding you, the lessons that we learn are written on the tombstones of others. We'll see you on the ridge. So there you go. I like I, I I liked where he said you know, and he made the point of, of saying that the tanks, the Humvees, the everything that they were paid for by our tax dollars <laughs> are going to be used against us to take our Second Amendment rights. But there you go. I mean, there's a I mean, there's a lot of people up there that are fired up as as well as they should be. And I'm really interested. Like I said, I said it before. I'm really interested to see how this thing plays out. I mean, what kind of battle is there going to be? Is it going to be is it going to be just, uh, you know, back and forth money, this, that? Or is it going to be guns? Is it going to be shooting? Is people going to show up and help? I mean, what is this? Is this going to be the next Boogaloo or the next Civil War? Or I mean, what is this? <laughs> I mean, do, does anyone even know? I mean, this is... Don't I, know. This, Don't is one know. Of the, this is one of those things. I've never seen this before. Never seen it. Never seen I mean, it, it's, but it's a different feel than it's, regular trash talk. It's a different feel. It's fascinating. You don't have some drunk guy up in an attic yeah. posting, you know, in drunk Instagram pics. So you know, people are taking this one a little more serious. It's a, it's, it's a little frightening. It's it, a little. It really is. We've come to this point. Yeah. And, that I mean, I want to say it came out out of nowhere, but it really didn't. But it just all of a sudden. We saw it coming, Wait, we talked from, about it, and all of a sudden, bam, it's there. It went from talk to we're going door to door. It's like, ooh. And it wasn't just some crazy guy that they made disappear that said it. Didn't This guy's the freaking governor. Well, they've been talking this wasn't common, Beto. Sense, common sense gun control, common sense gun control. We just want to We just want to stop, you know, uh, the, the RPGs on the street. That's all we want. That's all we want. <laughs> and then Beto come out, hell yeah, we're going to take them. Dopey. Ding bat. They made him disappear. We should have listened. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, he gave up the game. They're like, all right, let's go for it. So, yeah. Interesting. Beto threw down the gauntlet. They picked it up and they made him disappear. And then they picked it up and carried it, kept carrying it, man. Well, they, I mean, you've been seeing, even on the view, uh, what's her name? Oh, Joy Behar, trash bag, uh, was. Begging Democrats, stop saying you're going to do it. You know, yeah. say what you got to say to get elected, and yeah. then do it. Used to not, they used to not let that stuff out the bag. So now they're just going for it, and they're like, you know what, Trump's going to win, so we're going to go for it everywhere we can. And uh, and this guy said he was going to do it. He didn't go anywhere. He got elected. Then he said, screw you, I'm doing it. I'm doing it now anyway. <laughs> I mean, that's essentially what happened. Well, it's it's a very I don't I don't know. 
I don't. I do not. Know. Oh, we don't. And th- and th- today's podcast wasn't for answers. It was just to kind of lay out kind of what's happening, right? I mean, right, that's, right, right. We don't have answers. We're just as confused and up in the air as anyone else. No, we have our opinions. An well, all we're doing is guessing. We can't tell what's going to yeah. happen in the future. But it's what's what's the end goal? I think there's a false flag coming in all this. If somebody don't act, they're going to have somebody. I mean, they are pushing yeah. way too hard to back up. They're trying to get a response unless, somehow. Unless they're just shoving the Overton window and they're going to – I just don't see it. I don't see it. I don't see any backup coming. I don't know. I, who knows? I do not know. But it's uh, – it's unique. It's unique what's happening. It's interesting to see what's going on. It is. So now we have uh, another bill, um, uh, House Bill number 67, that uh, we have we just found out that the Virginia legislature strikes back with this. And it is, this comes to us from a YouTube channel, Coda Boy 32 um, Tactical, and we will take a listen to it. Here's the latest one, and we'll get to the point. This is House Bill number 67, and it was authored by Patron Carter, uh, these two individuals. And I'm going to read this a little bit, and I'll put it up on the screen here if I can find my thing. Okay, uh, being enacted by the General Assembly, and this thing was authored on January 8th, kind of as an answer to the Sanctuary City thing where the sheriff's deputies said, hey, listen, y'all can write whatever laws you want. We can choose to enforce it or not. And now the legislators coming back and saying that uh, any public safety employee, okay, and this is all striked out, who in concert with two or more other such employees for the purpose of obstructing, impeding, or suspending any activity or operation of his employing agency or any other governmental agency strikes or willfully refuses to perform the duties of his employment shall by such action be deemed to have terminated his employment and shall thereafter be ineligible for employment in any position or capacity during the next 12 months by the Commonwealth or any county, city, town, or other political subdivision of the Commonwealth or any department or agency of any of them. So basically what it said was, and this is a bill and they're going to try to vote it in, is that if the sheriff or local municipality does not enforce the law as written and signed in to law by Governor Northam, they, their employment by such action is terminated. Now, I don't know how they would find out unless they sent in some sting operations, but I know a lot of state guys who are also pro-Second Amendment. So what's happening now is you are seeing an act of tyranny when you have this number of people in this little bit of area who are going to dictate what this entire other rural area does. And I get it. They, they got all the money. They've got all the population. One vote equals a vote. But it's absolutely sickening that they wouldn't think in their right mind, maybe we should think about the entire state versus our little local shithole area we live in. And that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. You guys let me know what your thoughts are about the uh, House bill Number six, seven, it was authored on D, uh, January 8th of 2020, offered January, written on December 5th, 2019. I, it was, let me make that correction right now. So there you go. The empire strikes back. <laughs> <laughs> they strike back. Virginia legislator strikes back with House Bill number 67 that says, you know, if you if you work for them, if you are a public safety officer, that's law enforcement, that's sheriff, that's whatever, right. and you disobey whatever they say they can and they will fire you, you terminate it immediately, you will not be able to work for them again for 12, you know, 12 consecutive months or whatever he said, you know, the details. So there you go. I mean, they're they're trying to strike back. They're They're trying to tell these sheriffs that you can do this. And you don't have to listen, but if you disobey a direct whatever, bye. Yeah. <laughs> See ya. So, I mean, I don't know the sheriffs over there. I know the one that, you know, I don't know even know the one that talked, but I heard the one talk. But, I mean, are these sheriffs going to, you know, they need to feed their families too. What are they What are they going to do? I don't know. I mean, are they going to stand up? Are they not? I don't know. I mean, is this, is there anything to this? It's, it's, it's fascinating to watch this it's i mean the balls on these people oh yeah man i mean is this even the 
an, an actual sitting representative that's introducing this bill? Is this one of the guys that's coming in? Is this something they're obviously they're proposing for the next uh, session? Yeah, I think this is a sitting. I mean, I'd have to I'd have to go back and re-listen to it. But yeah, I think this is something official. I think this is like from the governor. Wow. And 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 what I heard is he put this together. Like before, right, right, uh, he, right. he's putting pieces there. He's building this. He's putting pieces into play. Uh, yeah, he's in a fact, massive track. I don't have the link, but I just saw. Um, I, I saw. I think it was yesterday. Okay, and I'd already had put all this together. But I saw another article coming out that he had actually when he was doing putting the budget together. Right. He actually moved a whole bunch of money into the prison system, into the law, into that. To, for the fact that he thinks that he's going to go out and arrest a bunch of people, yeah. and they're going to be in. Did you see that article? Uh, I saw one. Uh, I'm not sure if it's the one you're talking about, but it was for gun grabs he specifically. Moved, it wasn't for housing. Yeah, he moved monies and it for was this. Kind of, it, it wasn't a high amount. But if you're talking about something different, you're talking about yeah. prison space. Yeah, he's allotting money because of what he sees happening in the future. That's a freaking scary thought. Well, a lot of people are saying, if, saying if you got to go to prison. <laughs> Might as well make a count. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just saying. But I mean, this, this just shows you how methodical these people are. Yeah. They're not just, they're not just. This has been in the works for a while. Now, this is the same guy who defended uh, babies being born alive and left on a table to die. Right. That he would make them comfortable, comfortable if he can during their departure. This is a demonic savage. Oh yeah. This is a. Come on, man. Come on, get rid of this clown. And. Uh, Boat him out, you know. <laughs> I mean, it's... I got to see that. It, well, it, the whole thing is just out of control. And so right there, he's, he's, he's talking about this, this HB, this House Bill number 67, punishing the people that don't, the, the, the safety officers that, that don't enforce the laws, don't do what they're told. And then he came out, and, and you probably got something to say on this. I'm gonna, I threw this one in there because we just don't know. We don't know how legit. Yeah, don't know how we don't know how legit is. this is. But we're gonna. Uh, it's but rumors right now. It is. It is rumors right now. But we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna go ahead and play it. So this comes to us from uh, YouTube channel Lions Republic. I actually read an article on it as well. Uh, you did a little research on it, but it needs to. It needs to be out there. We 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 need to go ahead and and play that. So uh, we are, here we go. Good morning, Lions. This is Brad Bishop this morning. Good morning. Welcome to the Lions Republic. So I want to make all the Lions that are in Virginia aware, if you already aren't, I want to make all the Patriots and Americans that are surrounding the state of Virginia to be aware. It's looking like they're going to try and make this to where we cannot assist or help, and Virginia is going to be left on its own if this was to happen. But Virginia governor is reportedly orders plans to cut electricity, phones, and internet for gun confiscations. Okay, so let's go through this together. I'm going to put the link in the description. The governor of Virginia has allegedly ordered a small group of staffers to begin the process of determining how to cut off electricity, telephones, faxes, cellular phones, and data as well as the Internet and areas where he plans to send Virginia's National Guard troops to forcibly seize guns when the Democrat legislator convenes in January. The order was allegedly given to a very small and trusted group of staffers, some of to whom it turns out do not agree at all with this idea. So there you go. So we, and like I said, we don't know the validity on this, but it says there's a lot of rumors going around right now. So. There is, but I mean, but it's it's being made news. It's, um, this doesn't, to be honest with you, this doesn't seem like it's that far of a stretch. I mean, it's not, but I don't think it's. You don't think they care? I don't think they care. They're just gonna come take them anyway. They they, they would like it to be news. They would like people to know. They would. Everyone already knows anyhow, so why cut communications? <laughs> well, that's why they're trying to get rid of ham radios in California and doing away with that. This is one of the communications they don't control as much. Right. But the, anyway, that was a side point. It's a <laughs> little side joke there. Uh, they, I don't think they care. I don't think they care to get rid of your electricity and all this stuff. Could Would they do it to... If they could localize it? I mean, I don't know what their tactics are for something right, like this. Right. If they could... It, that just benefits a a tactical op, just a move to come in. Uh, you can kill the lights, you can disrupt stuff, you can 
hey, it works. I mean, the reason why the one of the reasons the United States military owns the night is because of the night vision. Yeah. All these yeah. knuckleheads are running around there, <laughs> can't see anything. They're watching you from miles away with night vision, clear as day. Um, it's a tactical benefit, uh, and I wouldn't put it past them. I mean, what can you put past people that are introducing bills like this? You can't put nothing past them. No, they'll do anything. But I think that's, as of yet, the place I've been able to track that back to is Hal Turner. Um, and I don't know a lot about him, but I don't know. Maybe he's a legit source. Maybe he's not. Uh, I know we get a lot, uh, some of the m- stuff that this sounds like, you get a lot of that. It comes from Dave Hodges. Uh, Dave, <clears throat> I don't know if you ever listened to his radio show. I never have. Uh, he he can be entertaining, but he's wrong 98% of the time. He's just flat out full of shit. <laughs> he's just, but it's, it's radio clickbait. It's, God, anyone can have a podcast nowadays. <laughs> well, he's, he's got a radio show somewhere. But anyway, he's, uh, uh, and I know somebody probably out there likes Dave Hodges, and I'm like, yeah, well, remember all the times he was wrong? Uh, flat out wrong, completely wrong. I mean, he's the Q of radio, (laughs) but he's, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see. I I don't know, but it's news and people are talking about it. So there it is for your consideration. But so I, 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 you can't put anything past. No, you can't. They're going to do whatever they need to do. I mean, they're breaking the constitution. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so if they wanted to cut power, if they wanted to cut phones and that's, that's the easy part. So let me let me throw you out throw this out to you as well. I mean, and I we just toss it around and talk about it. So the National Guard shows up. Right. Okay, this is the National Guard shows up and you know, the National Guard is is put together of uh, people in that state. Right. Right. So the National Guard has to come in to enforce this confiscation. Yeah, it's Billy and, Joe's nephew at the door. And people tell me, you know, and I, people oh they can't do that, it's posse comitatus. People it's posse comitatus if it's if it's uh, if it's if it's uh, federalized. They can do anything. If it's nationalized. That force is not applied to stop them. Let's right. be honest. They, the laws. Forget laws. Forget forget all that crap. You know who right. follows the laws? Law abiding citizens. That's right. why they pass those stupid laws to attack us on the right because the left don't follow them and they're not prosecuted. Yeah. You look at Antifa out there busting people's heads open. Yeah. Nobody goes to jail. Nobody's in trouble. Nobody does anything. It's just for us. So. We can't do things that are against the law. They can do whatever the hell they please. Yeah. Because you ain't going to do that. National Guard is enforced by the state. Right. So you have all these people that are that are possibly going to show up and fight this thing. And you got the National Guard that are coming in to take the weapons from you, and you're going to defend your weapons against the National Guard. Are you ready to sh- you can look at this two ways? Are you ready to shoot your neighbor? Is your neighbor ready to shoot you? It's exactly. Mm-hmm. Are, what's the National Guard going to do? Are they going to Are they going to come in and, and take weapons from their neighbors, from their aunts, from their uncles, their brothers, their sisters, whoever, their fellow citizens? I tell you what, at least, or are they going to do exactly what they're told? I mean, uh, somebody's going to point a gun back at them. Oh yeah. Now, when they kill Grandpa Joe around the corner, when they come to your door next, what you going to do? Either people are going to start laying down or people going to start shooting as soon as they roll up or they going to start hunting them down. Right. Uh, you got a choice. You can die at home. You can die on the attack or you can give up. That's your choice. Yeah. I don't know. This is just all things that have crossed everyone's mind. Now I did hear a radio clip where one guy called the national guard and I don't have it. And I apologize. For I that. couldn't find it at all. I, 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 so busy i i should have no, looked it up and said it's all it to good you. you're working i'm not uh, <laughs> but they uh where they did call the national guard and the national guard guy uh don't think he knows he was being recorded but he uh he was saying calm down right now there's a lot of hype on both sides there's a lot of clickbait kind of stuff happening i would like to tell the national guard guy though we got we're listening to audio of the governor talking right here today. All right. That's right. not, that's not hype. That's not, that, yeah. that's, I mean, that's, that's not, coming from the governor. This wasn't like a whisper in a room somewhere. No, the no. dude was doing a freaking interview. Yeah. Some, somebody heard, it's not like, you know, the impeachment hearing where somebody thought they heard something that they suspect it might be this, that felt like that. And, you know, <laughs> and it ended up being this. Yeah. And it's just outrageously nothing. 
Now, this is the governor talking, so, but he was trying to say, and I'll have to try and find the clip, that uh, don't believe it till it happens. And we're going to follow, you know, we're not going to follow the legal orders. And all. That sounds good. That's the patent, you know, that's the statement that everybody gives out. That's, we're not going to follow the legal orders. <sighs> they did it in New Orleans. They did it in New Orleans. They did, but so... As a matter of fact, a lot of them wouldn't do it. And they said, well, you're not going to take, quote, unquote, a gun. You're just there to protect law enforcement and back them up. Right. So they went along with that. That is, I'm sorry, that is a pathetic excuse. Okay. So the cops are going to take the guns and you're just going to, you're just there to shoot people who try to stop the cops. You're taking the guns. All right. You don't, you don't get an out on that. Now, I've seen people talk about National Guard didn't do it. They didn't do it. Yeah, they did it. They, they're they the muscle, well man. Did it. They did it. They yeah. were marching down the street when you got 40 people out there with uh, M16s pointing at you. you there, you took the gun. You so, took the, the gun. You took it. I mean, and I, you know, they said we're not going to follow, we're not going to follow uh, what illegal orders. Right. That's what they said. So, what's an illegal order? If it's, if it's, I mean, I know you got the Constitution up here, but you also got these laws that uh, are passed if they're passed. So what do you I mean, what do you got to do? Which one are you gonna? I mean, that's up to each individual. It, it is member. And that's why, why these kind of generals do. coming out giving his statements on what's legal and what's not. Yeah, I'm sorry, it's not legal. Uh, right. At what point do you say I'm not going to do it? When you're, you know, when you got your captain sitting there saying it's legal, go do it. You got your sergeant sitting there saying it's legal, go do it. When are you going to say I'm not going to do it? Well, I got to get my schooling. Okay. I mean, do you see do you see where I'm going? That I mean. I don't know. Not really. <laughs> well, I mean, well, the National Guard. You know, the National Guard. Okay, you have to go okay. to school. I got to get my money for school. Uh, there you go. Everybody. Who, Everyone's uh, got a price, man. Well, it's in doctor indoctrination center. Yeah, you got to find. You, you got to decide what's important to you. I guess. Yeah. Uh, well, and when you decide that, what are you going to do? Are you alone? Are you just going to go to the yeah brig, lock him up? I'm, I'm glad I don't live in Virginia right now. It's a, it's a lot of tough choices people got to make. A lot of tough choices. Okay, we got one more clip here. Um, so everyone's getting fired up, and they're they they, they everyone brought up the M word, right? Okay, uh, thousands of Virginia pledged to join a militia. They're raising a militia. So here we go. We will take a listen to that. America is the greatest country on earth, and there's a growing number of us who are sick of being told otherwise. We are mothers and fathers, sons and daughters, farmers, cops, teachers, veterans, tradesmen. We are patriots. We want to provide for our families and pass down a legacy to our children. Yet somehow we became divided. Civil discourse is dead. Social media censors us. God has been kicked out of society and overpaid celebrities and the media tell us what to think. But many Americans are looking to find that common ground again. We support our police, are proud of our veterans, and are open to hearing about opinions that may be different from our own. It's time for us to unite. We are a community where your average American can connect with our brothers and sisters, patriotic companies, and thought leaders. It's a home where you can learn about incredible people and remarkable organizations doing inspiring things and touching lives. It's a family that wants to change things for the better, put service above self, and help our neighbors. And it's a movement that's about to spread. We are your neighbors. We chat with you on the sidelines of our kids' games. We don't see age, sex, or color. Some of us are protectors. Some of us are supporters. All of us are patriots. We are men and women of integrity, character, community, family, unity. We will stand together. We will stand strong. And we will declare this is our country. This is our America. Today, we rise. So there you go. That was just a, a little clip I found. It's really hard to find militia stuff as we were talking uh, while well, that was playing there. It's really hard to find militia stuff on 
on YouTube. <laughs> it's easy to find militia LARPers. Yeah, tactical uh, LARPers. Yeah, you can find those. I've, I I did hear one guy who, uh, and once again, I don't have the clip. <laughs> he was uh, calling for militias to come together, and he was being reserved in his language. Uh, yes. Which he, you, you, you don't want, if, if if it comes down to something's got to give, don't get your dumb ass in prison over what you said. <laughs> right. I mean, for God's sake. <laughs> so yeah, uh, you can. Uh, he was he was he was talking about realistic, uh, v- vaguely uh, people coming together and. Those are the guys you got to watch out for. These guys walking around with their drop leg holsters and stuff that are, I mean, nothing wrong with a drop leg holster if you need it in that situation. But you you understand the guys I'm talking about, the yeah, markers yeah, yeah. that are talking, hooping and hollering, and, and uh, you know they're getting really loud. The guy who's making threats against the governor, that guy, uh, yeah, he's he's just talking. I think the guys you need to worry about are the guys that uh, ain't talking. The guys that yeah, that ain't talking. The guys that you know. And that, I guess the commercial, the, the 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 audio I just played there essentially was a commercial for the right. for the militia. A nice one, I like. It. I, I mean, it was nice. I um, like I, I think it's the guys you have to worry about. The guys that you know that still work and have families, and that you know they 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 they're standing out on the on the on you know their driveway. You know, they're mowing their lawns or drinking their beer Saturday afternoon. They're talking to their neighbor guy who maybe he's ex military, and okay, if something happens, you know, we're together. You know, and they have those uh, little community meetings and it's those guys right i mean it's not the guys running around the forest in freaking camouflage it's not the guys that um it's not the three percenters no well uh, like i said this when i heard this guy talking he was vague he was quiet yeah he was calm he didn't he didn't you probably couldn't pick him out of crowd going he's a no he's a militia dude no, no uh but they got their shit together. Yeah. Well, I looked at him and I'm like, that's a dangerous dude. That's yeah. That's a dangerous dude. He's the one yeah. that you got to watch out for. You know, he's not going to. You won't see him coming. Well, he's, if, if if you see him in gear. Yeah. He's coming to hit you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's coming to bang on you, man. Yeah. <laughs> he's going to be busting you up. So, yeah. And not that, you know, I don't know this guy. I'm not. It's just the way he, he carried himself and. A, a lot of the loudest people, um, it gave me a little freaking attention horse. It, it, it kind of made me feel a little good. It's like, there's some people out there. Oh, there are. There's some people out there that are dangerous and they are paying attention to this and they're watching it. And it's interesting times. Kind of giving me that look. I want to know. Do you, think, do you think I'm dangerous? You're a dangerous man. <laughs> <laughs> Which is squirrel nut butter. <laughs> and my shaved nipples. Oh, man. <laughs> Striking fear into the heart of <laughs> the squirrels. <laughs> well, ah, that's the first laugh we had. There this we go. I, well, I, this has been a kind of serious podcast. I didn't think uh, we could end the podcast without, without laughing at least once. Okay. So there you go. I mean, that's. No, if I thought you was dangerous, I wouldn't say it. I wouldn't say it. You wouldn't say it. I wouldn't say it. Okay. I said, nah, yeah. Mum's worry. the word. You ain't worry about it. You ain't got to worry about it. He ain't nothing. He just, he just wants to watch his Netflix. By the way, people, what are y'all doing with Netflix? Cancel Netflix. <laughs> for God's sakes, they got a gay Jesus on Netflix. Cancel Netflix. Why are you paying for that? Why are you paying for that? I watch everything I want to see. I don't subscribe <laughs> to anything. Uh, How do you do it? Arg. <laughs> there be pirates out there, matey. <laughs> I don't know how I do it. I just click and click, click, click. And there it is. All of a sudden, <laughs> a sudden it, it just shows up. What can I say? <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> well, that's all you wanted to know about pirates. Yeah, well, and stop, stop with the Netflix stuff. Cancel yeah. that crap. And Virginia, right? That's all you want to know about Virginia. That's all we know. I mean, we, I don't mind talking about it every episode, but I figured we needed... Uh, excuse me, your idea too. We decided we need one episode dedicated to Virginia, just kind of like lay it all out on the line. So maybe you know more than you did before you you press play. I don't know. I don't know. I don't I'm know. hoping, but there you go. Uh, well, it, there's no definitive answer. All we can there's give not. you is what we're hearing from both sides, and right. try and let you make uh, your own opinions, and just trying to give you information because really nobody knows. Nobody knows, and. It could fizzle out. It don't sound like it, but it it could all fizzle out and turn into nothing. They could decide we're going to wait. Um, I don't know. Maybe. Who knows? 
maybe Trump will start stepping up. Maybe he'll start doing this. I think Trump was compromised, though. I think he, they, they put the fear in him pretty quickly. My question about the whole thing is, where the hell is the NRA? Say something. Say something. You call me and ask for money weekly. You can say something on this. It's crazy. Where's the media, though? Nobody's getting on TV yeah. talking about it. No one. I mean, Fox News, come on, man. If you count on Fox News for your news, you're behind. You, you, you're already being manipulated. You're already, I mean, come on. You're making yourself a victim there. Stop it. They're not on our side. But they're not on the American people's side. Well, until then, I hope you guys all had a good Christmas. Uh, enjoy the rest of your holiday season. I got to add one thing. Oh, add one thing. I, I don't want to leave that. That kind of left that hanging that Trump was compromised. Sure, gotcha. I don't think Trump can be bought. Uh, He's got whatever he wants. Uh, he loves his family. Yeah. Uh, if you will get into your favorite search engine, Mr. Duck, Duck, Go. <laughs> Duck, Duck, Go. And you go, I'm just... Uh, this is just a rabbit hole I'm going down just real fast. Um, <clears throat> look at, uh, this was right after he got elected, uh, not too long after. Uh, here's one, three stories that I'll, I'll give you the dates on them, and you check them out. You decide what it is. Uh, July 11th, 2017, Trump helicopter accident kept under wraps. This is page six. The initial reporting of this was that uh, Ivanka Trump was on the helicopter. It landed, uh, hit something, tore the tail rotor off. Later reports were she was not on the helicopter. I believe she was. Um, that was, <clears throat> oh, I just deleted it. <laughs> so it was whatever it was, June 2017. Uh, here is, I don't know why I'm doing this, but I'm doing it. Trump helicopter carrying Ivanka Trump, this is the Daily Mail, and Jared from Washington, D.C. to New York was forced to return to the airport last Thursday after suffering an engine failure. Now, this is a twin-engine helicopter. One engine shut down. When was this? This was reported May 18th, 2018. Kept sending messages there. Uh, this was one of his personal helicopters. One of the engines shut down. The other engine was able to get them landed safely, and you didn't hear a lot about it. Uh, this is the big one, man. This is amazing. October 17th, 2018. Millennia Trump forced to change aircraft after smoke filled the cabin, and reporters used wet towels to cover their faces on Air Force One. The most maintained aircraft on the freaking planet filled with smoke with his wife on it. So that's twice helicopters had problems with his daughter. And once Air Force One filled with smoke with Millennia Trump on it. Now, a lot of people hadn't heard of this. They hadn't. It. I, I don't know why it don't sink into people's heads. Maybe I'm just crazy. And maybe I'm not saying anything. But I think it's just interesting that uh, they kind of calmed him down where we can... A little bit understand. Well, right. Maybe not a lot's not getting done, but you still got people to trust the FBI, and they food for thought, man. And they're not even yeah. Look up the hair sample scandal. Nobody looks up that that stuff up. All these hairs they found. It's all fake. People believe in global warming. Look up Monder Minimum. I mean, come on, man. Monder Minimum, sunspot and the Grand Sunspot Minimum. Look it up. Give you a few things to search. There you go on Duck Duck Go. It's the best engine. Yeah. Okay. Well, hey, thank you. I don't know why I went down there. Uh, Sorry, I apologize, but I've been wanting to. Hey, you're fine, man. I don't know. Uh, you uh, find us on, uh, you know, find us on uh, Facebook under Patriot Defense. Like the page. We've been getting tons of new likes. Um, find the show. You can find this podcast if you, if you're listening. You know where to find it. But you can also find us on Stitcher, on Spotify, on iTunes, a uh, bunch of other podca uh, podcatcher apps. We have <laughs> our down our downloads have actually been going been going up. Okay. Significantly. Okay. Well, we like that. I think I just killed it with my crazy stuff. No, nah, I don't think okay. so. You're good. Um, so share that with your friends. Share it with your family. Steal their phones. Hit subscribe. Yes. To Whether they like it or not. Late Christmas gift. Especially if they don't like it. If you got any, if you got any comments um, or questions or anything like that on the show, feedback. We like feedback. You can call me. You can text me. Area code 620-794-6223. That's area code 620 Seven nine four six two two three. 
Uh, you can also uh, email me at patriotdefense13 at yahoo.com. That's patriotdefense13 at yahoo.com. And tell then. Tell uh, us where we're wrong. Tell us, yeah, tell us where we're wrong. Tell us what you think about Virginia. Yeah, I know you will. Opinions. We like this, and we'll we'll talk about your opinions. Yes, yes. That's all, we, that's all anyone ever has is opinions. Uh, well, if you can give us a different angle that we haven't looked at yet, yeah. that helps us. That helps it the does. podcast because then we can say, you know, this guy made a good point, and it can change kind of work. Just give us some feedback. I'm sure there's different opinions of what we have. I know there's different ones from what I have. I don't Everybody's know. Everybody's welcome to be wrong. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's a joke. Give us your feedback. We, uh, we appreciate it. Until then, uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye.